today we learn about conditional subassemblies and what you can achieve with four assembly sets. Uh, with conditional subassemblies, you can achieve with one assembly. One cross section is able to give you what four cross sections in this scenario can. For example, there's this corridor here, down here. And in this corridor, you will need different as, uh, assemblies or cross sections for you to achieve what you want to do. For example, here there's a driveway, there's a driveway here, there's a driveway here on two opposite sides. For example, for this particular driveway on both sides, you need uh, this cross section. You need this cross section where there are driveways on both sides. There's a scenario where you will need a driveway on the left only and a drainage on the other side, or a scenario where you have a driveway on the right and you don't need a uh, driveway on the left. So you just daylight on the left and then you have a, a driveway on the right. You can see the uh, different conditions. So instead of doing a tedious job of breaking this subassembly into regions and then uh, trying to apply a particular region, a particular cross section to a particular region, uh, you can just utilize the conditional driveway or the conditional cross section where you can be able to put up the different conditions when a target is found or, or when a target is not found so that if a target is found here driveway target is found a driveway subassembly is set up if it is not found on this side for example uh, a drainage or a daylight is applied so let's do that Let's see. Here under the tool palettes, these are the tool palettes. There's a conditional tab. So we go to the conditional tab of the tool palette and the different uh, types of conditional subassemblies. One, there's one for the cut and fill conditions whereby you can set a desired subassembly for certain cuts or for certain fields conditions. So for the one we are setting up today is the conditional horizontal target and then on another day we will set up the conditional cut or fill uh, subassembly. So the conditional cut horizontal target I click on it and the properties palette pops up here on the right this is where we want to set this up, the first uh, condition which is a condition target not target found and you'll see how these parameters affect the appearance of the conditional subassembly. So with a target between uh, zero offset from the middle to 900, sorry, 9,999 meters, if a target is found, uh, a particular subassembly will be, will be uh, set up. And for our case, it is the driveway to a person's property subassembly group or group of subassemblies. So let's click here for the target found. Here you'll see target found from 0 to 999. And then here, if you want to change these parameters, they just control how this subassembly appears. They don't control the offset, this is not the layout width from here to here, it's just the layout width from here to here. Purely about the appearance of this conditional subassembly, but not about the parameters of the cross section. So if I put that to 8, that distance. That distance becomes smaller. Let's control one again. See, let's change this to eight. We have not changed. You can see this distance becomes shorter. And if you want to change also this this grid or this slope, you can change it to a milder slope if you want to. I want the steep slope. One is to one. 
and there we go if the target is found what do you want to do you want a driveway and this is the these are the group of sub assemblies that will give you that that situation so let's uh, escape and then let's select this group of sub assemblies all right and let's copy them there to the target found Copy to the target found. There we go. Now let's put up another uh, conditional subassembly for the target not found. These areas were there. The driveway is not around. The driveway is absent, meaning there's natural ground where we'll be grading to the existing ground. Let's uh, set up the second condition for the target not found so i'll click on the conditional horizontal target and here at the properties palette remember to change this to target not found and then here set up eight the way we had set up the other one and let's click on this part So there you go. Now, when the target is not found, we want to grid. We want to have a shoulder and then let's grid. So we select this, the shoulder and then the grading. Let's copy it and let's put it here where the target is not found. Wonder if there are two assemblies here so let me select the second one and delete it i think there were two so right now we can see the any selection cycling so means there's one there's only one assembly okay now that we've set that up it's easy to mirror it to the other side because these are same the same same conditions that we are setting up here we want them replicated on the left side so i just select all these sub assemblies and then I mirror them to the other side there we go now instead of these four assemblies we have one cross section instead of these cross sections we have one cross section I don't know whether I moved this uh, sub assembly uh, to here it doesn't hurt Let's rebuild this corridor so that those uh, conditional sub-assemblies are applied here. So let's rebuild. So currently, they are not yet applied because we have not set up the targeting. So if you go to uh, sub bus or to object viewer, I mean. We'll see that we do not have any place where there's a situation where there's a driver. We only see situation where there's uh, there's grading to to the surface. So here, first of all, set up the the target of the surface. We go to the corridor properties at the parameters tab we go to the targets let's start with the surfaces go to the surfaces tab and we target the surface we apply we rebuild the corridor and you can see some changes to the corridor because the the surface the existing surface has been targeted secondly we want to target the this uh these poly lines here I want to target this this feature lines so that anywhere uh, a feature line is found the driveway uh sub assembly is applied first before we do that let us rename this this conditional sub assemblies this is a target not found I go i select the target not found to rename it and then I go to the subassembly prop properties. Yeah, I just add 
nf to stand for not found then i apply i do the same for this one go to the subassembly properties not found but on the left escape the same for this other two this one will be found subassembly properties name I apply I escape select this other one go to the subassembly properties I finish that off all right now we are ready to to target to target those uh, feature lines we go to corridor properties and then we go to the targets icon and here for for the targets uh And the sorry this is a surface tab we go to the offset and elevation and here we'll see our 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 sub assemblies and so here let's select them all let's start with the right side so with the target found for the right select all of them yeah we, is where we can select the 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 feature lines lines the poly lines the feature lines let's select them from drawing start with this one next one next one select them one by one once you're through click enter let's do the same for the target not found on the right again not found and then the right click the next one pick the other one the next one the other one the next one and the final one and then and then you click enter then you click on ok and apply this we'll rebuild the corridor now you can see for every section where there's a an entry or a driveway to someone's property that condition is applied and let's confirm it through object viewer Here you can see where there is no target there's a there's a daylight or there's a drainage where there's a there's a target this is a driveway. All right. You can repeat that for the left side, and you'll get your your perfect uh, driveways. So what you can achieve through four different cross sections, we have achieved with one cross section. So that's it for day.
for this day for this session remember to subscribe remember to share remember to like remember to comment see you on the next one